those in ingredients. But they are sold in packets claiming to be things such as plant food or jewelry cleaner. But inside are potent and dangerous combinations of chemicals known on the streets as bath salts. Their arrival in Maine caught law enforcement officials off guard. Bangor has been ground zero in the war on this drug. I've seen the effects of cocaine, I've seen the effects of heroin, I've seen the effects of methamphetamine and all the other drugs that are out there. The city's police chief says it's the worst drug he has ever seen in his 29 years of police work. When people are out there delusional and psychotic and believe that people are after them and a member of the public could become part of that delusion, that's a very dangerous drug then. So how did this drug that's been circulating around Europe for years sneak up on us? Agents here in Maine say they were busy focusing on another major drug problem, opiate addiction. And we all have our priorities and we focus on those priorities. This wasn't a priority because it wasn't here. It literally dropped out of the sky. Law enforcement officials on all levels are playing catch up with this problem and they admit it's an uphill battle. Their biggest concern is that once they do get on top of it, the drug will change and will be made with substances that are still considered legal. Bangor's police chief, whose officers have had the most experience in Maine dealing with the drug, says education, treatment and enforcement are the keys. He says the enforcement part of it could get a big boost if Congress passes legislation banning the compounds found in bath salts. Congressman Mike Misho says he's heard all he needs to hear about the drug. Uh, when I go back to Washington next week, I uh, want to talk with, with the speaker and the judiciary chair to see if we can't get it to the floor uh, uh, immediately. In the meantime, police in Maine will rely on each other. Bangor's chief says he's sending his officers throughout the state to brief other departments on what their experiences have been in dealing with this dangerous drug. In Portland, Chris Rose, News Center.